Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Sans Mines Magic Wallet. Uh, hey, it's another Magic Wallet and it's on the scene and it's from Sans Mines. What's cool about this wallet? This wallet is a hip style wallet. Uh, it's a smaller, flat wallet. It's probably the thinnest Magic Wallet on the market, and it allows you to do some pretty amazing things. Let's check out the trailer. Have you ever wanted a wallet that was designed for the modern day magician? I'm talking about a slim and functional wallet that'll behave the way you want it to. You see, that's exactly why we created the Sands Mines Wallet. Any car you like to pull one out, okay? Sign your name and uh, on the face of the car. This is so important. There's only one car look like this in this entire world, right? Yeah. Is it okay I just leave your car somewhere in the middle first? Is it okay? I'm gonna use my wallet. Uh, I can borrow your hands, keep it really flat, and just squeeze tight. I'll transfer all the information from here to here. Are you ready? Let's check this out. Do you feel anything? There's one car inside here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's one car inside here. It's not any car, but it's the Lisa Sun car. Our team has designed a slim and stylish wallet that can not only be used as an everyday wallet, but also keep you prepared for your professional gigs. Having a wallet that's slim and small is a big thing that makes this wallet so practical. In fact, it's the thinnest object to wallet. I know magicians already have their routine, so they need the best device built for this specific purpose. But just how thin is the Sands Mines wallet? This is a conventional wallet. And this one's ours. There are two styles of the Sands Mines wallet. Now, the first one, is a one-piece street style wallet for those on the go. The other is a modern looking wallet for the suit up variety. Both allow you to carry your everyday items without that extra clutter. Use it in your daily life, whether you know, you're buying a coffee on the commute or handing out your business cards. You can easily set your wallet up for revelations, multiple outs or card switches. The wallet is designed to allow you to reveal cards or other objects without palming. It's our slick and simplified version of the traditional mulika. That means you can focus less on preparing and more on that key performing. So get your Sands Mines wallet now. It's gonna change the way modern magicians prepare for their professional routines. All right, so that was the Sands Mines Wallet from Will Sai and the Sands Mines Creative Labs. Um, and I think, as you saw in the video, there's two types of wallets. I got the suit up style two piece, the more adult wallet. Uh, I didn't get the younger, slimmer design with a little string attached to it. I didn't get that one. But you know what? For the review, for the review sake, it really doesn't matter uh, which wallet you have. It doesn't matter because really in the DVD, they show you the explanations for both wallets. So they literally run through the effect and then Herman actually explains both wallets in the DVD, so that's uh, really nice. So I think, you know, if you're deciding between either of those wallets, the review that I'm gonna give you will work. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get uh, everything into a black, uh, kind of shelled uh, paper envelope, which is really nicely done. And you're gonna get the leather-like wallet and the 36-minute DVD. Is it what I thought? I thought it would be a trick wallet that could do peaks and card steals, and that is exactly what it is. How are the angles? The angles are really good. Uh, most of the dirty work happens right in front of the spectator. You're doing all of your loads and peaks 
right in front of the spectator. This is not a loading behind your back uh, like other wallets. And so as long as you have everything you know, at, an, at an angle, you should be able to do this in a, in a horseshoe. There shouldn't really be anything for the spectator to see. Can it be inspected? No. Uh, not that I think that they would catch it initially, but I think just, you know, if they have it for too long of a time, then sure, they could, they could discover the secret. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, Sam's Minds always makes great DVDs. Uh, Herman explains everything in a studio performance. So uh, there's, there's no live performances out there. He's always using Sans Mind's employees to do the performances with. Um, but you know what, it's, a, it's still great. You still got great music, great microphones, great settings, uh, great menus that separates everything. It's a really wonderful uh, and well-made DVD. All right, what's taught on the DVD? There are a couple of things that are taught and you should probably know what they are. Uh, there's a signed card transpo which is basically a signed card to wallet routine. There's a mystery card taught where you show the spectator in advance an alternate colored card in your wallet and then their signed card changes places with it and it becomes the mystery card that's in your wallet. There's a card steal uh, trick, which is kind of a variation on Strange Travelers, the Paul Harris effect that David Blaine uh, made famous and you're using the wallet. And then they teach you how to do a peek and then they teach you uh, a mind reading effect with the peak where you divine uh, the spectator's uh, a thought of name. Uh, there's an any card to any number routine taught on there. There's a business card switch taught on there where you take your business card and theirs and they switch right in front of the spectator and the spectator doesn't realize they're holding your business card at the end of it. And then there's an object to wallet where you can literally pull larger objects, anything you can palm, uh, you could pull out of this wallet. And like I said, the DVD covers uh, everything you need to know for both wallets, which is really nice. Is it well made? Uh, you know, that's a good question. People always ask about wallets. They want to know if it's well made because I'm going to carry this with me everywhere I go. Um, it does say that it's leather like. So I assume that means it's some sort of combination of plastic and rubber or however they make fake leather these days. I don't know. Um, but it still seems to be well made. It isn't a double stitch wallet because it's a very thin wallet. Um, it's a single stitch. So I don't know if that's a, a deal breaker for you, but it does seem to be um, well made. I would ask somebody who's had this longer than me um, how theirs has held up over time, uh, if that is a concern for you. How much practice does it require? The loads and peaks, they're not difficult. And I think they definitely are on the easier side of how to do a load and a peak. But then I would still say, of course, it's going to still take some practice. How much setup and reset is there with this wallet? There's none. So I think the wallet is pretty much self-contained. There's no moving or working parts. There's nothing to uh, get into a get ready, really. Uh, and so I think this uh, easily will go from table to table with no reset. Positives. What are the positives to the Sans Mines wallet? I love the applications and the possibilities. Sans Mines has made a beautiful, very creative wallet that is both stylish and practical. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives uh, to the Sans Mines wallet? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, I don't know that this style of wallet, either of them, would work for all performers. Uh, I don't know that this um, style wallet would definitely work for an older person. You might look, like your friends might look at you like, why do you have that funny looking wallet? You know, so it, I don't want to limit this though. I don't want to say that it's only for young people, but I think it definitely has a young look to it. Even myself, you know, I, I almost question if I would carry this. Would it be believable for me to have this? And so, I don't know. It's, it's just something to think about. Um, I would, and I don't know that that's a negative. I think you just need to think about your character uh, when you go to purchase this. Is it worth your money? Uh, it is $70. So it is definitely in that price tag of, of, of magic wallets. You know, magic wallets start at like 70 and they go to 140 and, or, or beyond. You know, and so I think when you buy a magic wallet, you just expect to pay more. That's, that's just an expectation. So it is a steep price tag. But if magic wallets have always felt too old for you or the wrong style or too bulky or too difficult, this one might be for you, okay? I personally don't like the palm reach around load wallet styles, okay? I like this load. I do like this peak. And so I think maybe uh, you know, if some of those other magic wallets have never really done it for you, this might be yours. All right, so that is my review for the Sands Mines wallet from Will 
Psy. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.